Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a video for you. Today starting August 14th until August 20th is the 7 and 7 readathon and I saw this on Books and Lala's channel and um, Riley Marie's channel. Um, I didn't decide I wanted to participate until like yesterday because I was like hemming and hawing because this is my last like full week of summer before I have to start like getting my classroom really ready and things like that. So I was like, do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it and then if I fail, I fail. So this is my TBR. I have seven books to show you. Um, so let's just get started. Um, so the first book I'd like to read is Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. This is the first book in a duology, and it's kind of like a Rapunzel retelling, but I don't know much more than that. But it's really short, and it's been kind of like eyeing me on my shelf lately, so I figured that I would give it a chance. This book is... Let's just make sure I don't, like, find the sequel or, like, the spoiler in the back. Ugh. Don't you hate when the pages don't move the way you want them to? 292 pages, so this shouldn't be too terrible to get through. And then I have um, The Secret of Ella and Micah by Jessica Sorensen. This is kind of a love story contemporary. Again, not too much that I know about it, but it's also really short, and the font is, like, really huge and spaced out. And then this book is... 309 pages. And I think that's like the first book in a little bit of a series too. And then this is probably one of my bigger books that I have picked out, which is The Writing Desk by Rachel Hawk. This is a review book that I just got, but I tend to read Rachel Hawk pretty quickly. And this one is 400 pages exactly. And then... The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, another author that I read really quickly and I've been wanting to read her book since before it came out and then I got it early and I still didn't read it, so definitely time to do that. And then I probably would have read this book in one sitting anyways, so figured I would do that. This is 388 pages. Um, The Lion Game by Ruth Ware, another book that I tend to read all of her books in one sitting anyways. And then this one is 368 pages. Um, the one that I'm probably going to start today, which is um, Sweet Briar Cottage by Denise Hunter, another book that I got in exchange for an honest review. And this one is exactly 300 pages, and I'm going to sit at Social Security's office today to try to change my name, so I'm going to bring this just in case it's a long wait. And then I'm kind of torn between two books for my last seventh book. Um, again, this TBR might actually change because I like want to read everything on my shelf, but the two books that I'm kind of in between, I wanted to throw another YA book in here because I only have one and YA tends to read quickly. So I picked up um, All the Bright Places, and I figured because this is a contemporary, I might read quickly. And this one is 378 pages. And then, if not, The Adjustment by Suzanne Young, which is, like, the fourth book, I guess you can say, in this series. I get really confused by it, but this one is 408 pages. And I tend to almost read all of these books in one sitting, too, so I figured I would be doing it anyways, so... That's it. So those are the seven, well, eight books that I would like to read this week. Chances are I might change my mind. I've got so many back here. Like, I kind of wanted to read The Shiny Bright Place Day, Broken Pieces, but I, like, took forever on the first book, so I don't want to, like, by accidentally put myself in a rut. All these books are good because they're short and quick, so... You never know, it might change. But this is my tentative TBR. If you are joining the 7 and 7 Readathon, let me know down below. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye, everybody. Go, cat.